Okay, en este momento vamos a comenzar la clase para el 29 de septiembre para el nivel principiante. Este sería el, la sección 5 del módulo, ah, perdón, para el inglés intermedio, módulo 3. Entonces, como anteriormente estábamos viendo, eh, opuestos, ¿verdad? Hello, good evening. Rafael, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, I... great. Great to see you again. Thank you. Me too. Okay, do you know uh, if something happened to your classmates? ¿Sabes well, si algo le pasó a los compañeros de clase? No, ya se van a comenzar a incorporar. Siempre <ríe> vienen tarde. Sí, ¿no? es cierto. Siempre vienen tarde. Vaya, por el momento, este, solo vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Mientras vienen ellos. Ahí está Ana. Good evening, Ana. How are you? Anna, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, um, how are you? Good evening. Not very good. Are you sick? Sí, continuo con mi graña, teacher. Mm, okay, I'm so sorry for you. Pero estaré en la clase, teacher. Va a estar de oyente. Yes, ah, sí, no me quiero perder. Ah, va, está bien. Entonces, vamos a comenzar nada más haciendo un pequeño repaso de lo que estudiamos ayer. We are going to have a little review of what we studied yesterday. We were studying about opposites, right? So, we were talking about different opposites or antonyms like accept, refuse, admit, deny, agree, disagree, borrow, lend, Enjoy, dislike, fine, lose, marry, divorce, save, spend, forget, remember. Y aquí teníamos más opuestos, ¿verdad? We have more opposites here. Uh, good evening, Tania. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. What about you? Yes, I am able to hear you. Okay, ¿alguno investigó um, más opuestos o antónimos? Mm, some. Uh, what yes. did you investigate? ¿Cuál es investigar? Uh, dark. Uh -huh. Lie. Lie. Lie like this? Lie. No. Lie of... Of life, lie of, lie of, uh, of chime, chime. Ah, light. Light. And the other one? Uh, sweet. The opposite of light, what is the opposite? The, the, uh, dark. Dark, okay, light and dark, very good. And another one, sweet? Sweet, uh, bitter. Bitter, very good, bitter. Another one? True. True. Lie. Lie. Very good. Noise. Noise. Silence. Silence. Very good. Um, straight. Uh-huh. And indirect. Indirect. Very good. So we have light, dark. Sweet, bitter, true, lie, noise, silence, straight, indirect. Uh, do you have any other, Tanya? Yes, I have near and a fart. Near and far. As well, thin and fat. Thin? 
and fat. Yes. Okay. As well, hard and soft. Hard and soft. Yes, okay. well, high and low. High and low, very good. And that's it? As well, like the common one, tall and short. Tall and short, exactly. And strong and weak. Strong and weak. Very good. John old. Young, all very good. And that's it, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Ya lo vamos a organizar mejor. So we are going to check here. So you can see them better. Then. So these are opposites, just for you to, to know this more vocabulary, light and dark, sweet and bitter, true and light, noise, silence, straight, indirect, and near, far, thin, fat, hard, soft, high, low, tall and short, strong, weak, young and old. So this will be just for, uh, for you to increase your vocabulary, it's good to know the opposite or how to say um, the contrary meaning of something, right? So now we are going to talk about models, past models, and talk about actions, okay? Vamos a hablar acerca de los modos y las acciones. So yesterday we were talking about uh, the past models. We use would have or should have plus a past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. Usamos el would have, ¿verdad? O should have. Y después el pasado participio. Entonces, si hemos estudiado el present perfect, ya sabemos cuál es el pasado participio. So, uh, we have an option. What should I have done? What is the meaning of that? ¿Cuál es el significado de what should I have done? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? What should I have done? ¿Qué hubieras hecho? ¿Qué debería de haber hecho, verdad? What should I have done? Si yo pregunto con should, voy a responder con should, verdad? What should I have done? You should have told them about it. Debiste haberles dicho de eso, verdad? You shouldn't have hidden it. No debiste haberlo escondido. So, eso es para, digamos, when we give advice, when we, we, uh, we give a piece of advice or when they ask us, right, or our opinion about something. Cuando nos queremos dar nuestra opinión de algo o algún consejo, utilizamos esto. También podemos ocupar el would, ¿verdad? What would you have done? ¿Esta qué quiere, quiere decir en español? What would you have done? ¿Qué quiere decir eso en español? What would you have done? ¿Qué habrías hecho? ¿Qué habrías hecho? What would you have done? I would have called him. Lo habría llamado, ¿verdad? Uh, I, would, I wouldn't have sent him a text. No le habría mandado un mensaje de texto, ¿verdad? I wouldn't have sent him a text. So that is uh, the answer for would, right? As you can see, is would. Y el, eh, el have, ¿verdad? Would have. Y el pasado participio. Y el, lo mismo con should, ¿verdad? So, these are the statements. For example, these are the, the that is shown in the platform. Um, this is like the formula, right? Subject plus would have or should have plus parse participle, and then the rest of the, the, the sentence. And for questions, WH plus would, should, plus subject, plus have, plus past participle. So if we study this, you won't have any problem for statements, right? Or for questions. ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? Do you have any question about this? 
No questions. Okay, por ejemplo, una oración como for statements, ¿cuál sería? Con would have, por ejemplo, should have. Si ocupamos esta fórmula, ¿cuál sería? Si ocupamos, por ejemplo, el subject I. I y después would have y dígame un past participle, un pasado participio de un verbo. ¿Cuál sería un pasado participio? Eight. Eight. De comer. Yes. Okay. Eaten. Eaten, right? Eaten. Eight es el pasado y el pasado participio de eat es eaten. I would have eaten more vegetables, por ejemplo. Por ejemplo, si alguien quiere bajar de peso o alguien quiere comer más saludable, uh, yo hubiera comido más vegetales, ¿verdad? I would have eaten more vegetables. So, siempre seguimos eh, esta fórmula. We always follow this formula, this order, right? Subject would have past participle. Tenemos que aprender los past participles. And the rest, right? The rest of the sentence. And now a question. The question is, for example, a WH question, right? WH question, would, should, subject, have, and past participle. Can you give me an example, please? Un ejemplo para una pregunta. A question, please. Good evening, Olga. Good evening, Felix. Good evening. I'm sorry, I've been late. Very yes, late. Yes, you're kind of late, kind of late. Solo acabamos de empezar. We just started oh. like reviewing the past models. So, okay. ahorita estamos haciendo questions, right? Questions, preguntas con past models. Y quisiera que me dieran algún ejemplo siguiendo esta, um, esta fórmula. Uh, can you provide an example following this formula, please? Like WH question can be like what, right? What and then should, right? Should. Should, como dice ahí la fórmula. Después el subject. Um, she, for example. What should she have? Y vamos a hacer el past participle de say. What is the past participle of say? The verb say, decir. What is the past Aiden. participle? Uh-huh. Say. Said. Uh-huh. Said. What should she have uh, said in the class? Y el resto, ¿verdad? What should she have said in the class? ¿Qué debió haber dicho ella en la clase? It's kind of uh, difficult, but because it, it, it has like a lot of things, right? The model and the past participle and have. But if you practice it, it's, it's, it's easier, right? Every time that you practice, it's easier. It gets easier. So what should she have said in the class? And then a statement, I will have eaten more vegetables. So this will be some examples of uh, these uh, statements, right? Remember that if you are asked with would, you answer with would. And if you are, um, if the if the question is uh, with a uh, should, you need to answer with should, right? So the question is with would, would. So uh, we have more exercises here. This will be just um, like a review, right? Very, uh, very, really fast giving advice using should. Question, should I verb, right? I think you should, creo que usted debería. I don't think you should. I, I think you shouldn't. Plus verb. I think you shouldn't. No, dice ahí que no usamos, I think you shouldn't, right? Uh, que no usamos shouldn't cuando ocupamos el verbo, I think. 
Eh, y para preguntas, ¿verdad? Should I buy? Yes, go ahead, Felix. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I never have seen the patient when or why uh, we use the, the patient. What is the past tense? Uh, lo anterior. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo? ¿O, ¿O por qué? A which past tense? Which one? Uh, past models. Past models. I would say past models because, for example, uh, we say that can is a model, right? So the past of can is could, right? So will is another model that we use. The past of will is would, right? And shall is another model. The past of shall is should. So that's the reason why we call them past models, but they are models normally, normally called models, right? Por eso es que le llamamos past models, porque se dice que son los pasados de esos modales, de esos verbos modales. Pero eh, también son models, okay? So that's the, that's the way they call them, past models. But it's would and should, right? It's just to give advice. So um, this I is- I have a question. Uh-huh. In this case, uh, we do not change, like if we are talking, about she we don't change like has right it is always have yes and that's because we use the model after models we call um we use an infinity right el verbo no es que esté en presente sino que está en infinitivo en infinitivo quiere decir que no lleva ing no lleva ed no lleva nada solo el verbo está en así verdad pero el infinitivo es un infinitivo como implícito no lleva would to y el verbo, ¿verdad? Sino que se le quitamos el to y queda así, would, have, or uh, should, uh, have, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la, la, la regla. Entonces, siempre sería have porque lleva el modal. Siempre sería have porque siempre lleva el modal, would or should. Very good question. Muy buena pregunta. Thank you. Entonces, este... Con preguntas también podemos usar should, ¿verdad? Should I buy? Debería. I think you should buy the red one, ¿verdad? Entonces, el should también es para dar consejos, para dar eh, como pieces of advice. So these are the past models, right? We can use should have plus past participle or would have plus past participle every time, right? With he, she, it, I, to give opinions and suggestions about past actions. Examples, you should have studied more for the test. I wouldn't have eaten so much candy. You should have studied more for the test. Quiere decir, deberías haber, have, ¿verdad? Estudiado más para el examen, ¿verdad? You should have studied more for the test. Y la otra sería, I wouldn't have eaten so much candy. No debería haber comido tanto dulce. I wouldn't have eaten so much candy. Entonces, si queremos decir eso en inglés, eh, esta es la manera de decirlo. No debería de haber o deberías de haber ¿verdad? hecho. Entonces, that's the way we, we, we translate that. We have here more examples. So for you have more, um, more information about this. It says, what should I have done? The meaning is, what was I supposed to do? For example, I found a lot of money, but I didn't take it to the police. Instead, I bought many things with the money. So, aquí tenemos el modo, past modo, el, uh, the opinion, right? What was I supposed to do? You shouldn't have used that money. You shouldn't have used that money. I saw somebody stealing something from a supermarket, but I didn't tell anybody. What should I have done? You should have informed the security guard. We have another example. My mother told me a secret and I told my father, 
Now, my mother is mad at me. What should I have done? You shouldn't have told your father the secret. So those are some examples, right? Do you have any questions about past models right now? Preguntas? No? Yes? Okay, so I think it is kind of clear right now. And this is with should, right? This is with should. And now with would, we have like the same um, the same examples, only with would, right? For example, it says here, I said a bad word in class and the teacher asked me to leave the class. What would you have done? ¿Qué habrías hecho tú? What were you going to do in that situation? And then we have an example. I wouldn't have said bad words in class. We have another one. I went to bed late last night because I went to a party. The next day, I woke up late and I arrived late at work. What would you have done? ¿Qué habrías hecho tú? I would have gone to bed early. And the last one. I didn't close the door last week and someone entered our house and stole our TV and some money. What would you have done? I wouldn't have left the door open. You see, so it's very simple, right? Like, what would you have done or what should I have done, right? So this is just to give advice, opinions, and this is more vocabulary. Like this is, for example, asking for advice, what can we use? We can use, I have no idea what to do. What do you think I should do? What would you recommend? What do you suggest? Have you got any ideas? What would you do if you were me? Do you think I should, right? Would it be a good idea to do this? How would you react in my position? What could be the best solution? Y para dar, uh, giving advice, you can use, you could always. My advice will be, one thing you could do is, have you thought about this or have you tried this? It's generally a good idea to, if I were you, if I were you, si yo fuera tú, verdad? If I were you, uh, you might be a good, so that might be a good solution. I would probably be better to, or I think your only option is to do this. So we have a lot of vocabulary. We have a lot of phrases, right? So uh, this is a more vocabulary for you to provide advice and give advice and ask for advice. Now we are going to practice a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're able to see this. Pueden ver esto. Can you see this? Are you able to see it? Okay, we are going to practice right now with this exercise. It says, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. So we have these conversations here. He said, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? And what is the, the missing part there? ¿Qué le falta ahí? What should I have? Do, done. right? Done. done. Exactly. What should I have done? Then the next one said, you should have... Said. said right exactly you have you should have said something something right you shouldn't have took taken taken or took took taken taken because it's the past participle it's not the past it's the past participle you should have you shouldn't have taken have taken the money, right? Very good. Now, next one. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have? Um, done. Exactly. What would you have done? The answer, I would have. I would have what? Replied. <laughs> replied. 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 okay the verb is reply what do you say the verb is reply but it's replied. replied 
replied. 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 To, replied. replied. No, replied to the person. Exactly. It just takes a minute. Number three. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? Right, the same, right? What should I have done? It says you should have taken. Taken. You should have taken the call and toll. Toll, exactly. Toll. You should have taken and toll. Taken the call and toll. Very good. La última, the last one. We left all, all our trash at the campsite. What would you have? Done, right? Done. What would you have done? And it says, I would have taken, taken, taken. it with me and what throw is the past away. participle? What is the past participle of throw? Throw it. Thrown. Con N al final, right? Throw. Throw. El pasado es through. Y el past participle es thrown. Lo voy a escribir aquí para que les quede. Thrown. Thrown. Uh -huh. thrown. thrown. I would have thrown it away later. Perfect. Now, this one, let's see. It's 8.30. So, we are going to listen to something first. Vamos a practicar uh, listening. Y después vamos a practicar el speaking, okay? With a role play. So I, it was important for me to teach you this first, just in case that you have any problem or any doubt about the, how to structure these kind of sentences and questions. But if you have any, you don't have any questions about this, we are going to practice, right? Also, you practice it with the platform. So I guess that it will be easy for you. Now we have this listening. It says, listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. We are just going to listen to them and just uh, order them, right? And uh, probably give suggestions, right? So I think I have it here. Let me know if you listen to it. Are you able to listen to it? ¿Lo pueden escuchar? No, we can. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. I can listen. I don't know why. I can hear the, I the can audio. Listen. Not listen to them? No. Okay, I'm going to share it again. No teacher said. Okay. I will do it again. Let's see. I okay, sorry for that. Let me know right now. No chat. An exercise four listening. No, yes. Tough pre yes, yes. Now yes. yes. Okay. Predicaments. Part A. Listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. One. I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Okay, very good. What was that problem about? Which one? It was two people were fighting in the street. Our friend lost all of her money while traveling or our friend has a serious shopping problem. Which one? The second, our friend lost all her money. Exactly. Our friend lost all her money while traveling. And what were the suggestions? ¿Cuáles fueron las sugerencias que le dieron? Uh, 
probably call to their parents to ask for money and also work <laughs> as a waitress to earn money. Okay, very good. Call as a waiter or waitress to earn money and call their parents and also go to consulate, right? Go to the consulate. So probably they will be able to help. Perfect, very good. Now we are going to listen to the second one. Let's see. Two. You know, I'm really worried about Carol. Why? Well, I think she has a serious shopping problem. Really? Yes, she keeps buying things and putting everything on her credit card. I don't think she realizes how hard it's going to be to pay all the money back. I don't know what to do. What would you do if you discovered a friend had major financial problems? Oh, no question. I'd talk to her about it. Oh, I don't think I would. Why not? Well, because it's really none of my business. I wouldn't tell a friend what to do in that type of situation, so I wouldn't say or do anything about it. Well, I think I'd probably talk to her family about it. It's a personal problem, and they should try to help her first. Okay, well, what's the problem about? A friend has a serious shopping problem. A friend has a serious shopping problem. Perfect. And what were the suggestions? Like what were the ideas they gave to solve that problem? ¿Cuáles fueron las sugerencias que dieron ellos? That would you talk to her or not? Yes. Yes, right. Or probably, well, one of them said that he well, wouldn't talk to, to her directly, but another friend said that probably they will talk to their family, right? That she had a shopping problem with the credit card. Perfect. So we are going to listen to the last one. It says two people were fighting in the street. Three. You know, I was faced with a tough situation the other day. I was walking down the street and saw two people fighting. It looked pretty violent, but I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away. I figured it was none of my business, but now I think I should have done something. What would you do if you saw two people fighting on the street? I'm not really sure, but I know I'd have to do something. I guess I would call the police. No, that takes too long. I'd try to break it up. But you could get hurt if you did that. Well, then I'd try to get someone to help me break it up. In the meantime, I'd shout for someone to call the police. Okay, perfect. So what uh, was, well, the problem was that two people were fighting in the street. What would you have done if you saw two people fighting on the street? Nothing? Would you call the police, as they said, or what would you have done? Uh, call the police. Call the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wouldn't, like, try to stop. Hey, stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, no, because uh, uh, one suggest is call the police. Mm -hmm. But it's very difficult. Yes, it's very difficult, right? Because you can get hurt, right? They, as they, yes. they say it. Yeah, yeah, very good. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. So we practice already the listening. Let's see here. It says, this is kind of similar. Probably we'll be able to check this later. Let's see what time it is. 8.35, 45. Yeah, probably. Now we are going to practice these uh, sentences, right? Because you don't have any problem, right? You don't have any issues with this so i guess that we need to practice them now we are going to have a little bit of a role play i will give you 10 minutes to do that and you are going to practice your speaking and your writing because first of all you need to write the a little conversation not that long no larga la conversación corta and we are going to play this role play right Anna is kind of sick because uh, she has like a headache or headache or migraine so I will include her in a group, but probably she won't be like speaking or participating. 
but um, if she is not participating, it's okay, right? She will be listening to you. And uh, the role play is about this. You need a piece of advice from your friend. You had a problem and you want to know your friend's opinion since you trust her or you trust him, right? So you had a big problem, probably a money problem, or you have a problem in your family, or you have a problem with your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't know, right? And you want to tell this person about this. The other person will be letter B, right? Your friend wants to know your opinion about a personal issue. You try to help your friend, but you think your friend is the one who has to decide what to do. You don't want your friend to blame you for what she, he decides to do. So you will try to help this person, but at the same time, you don't want to decide for them, right? So you need to provide your advice. Try to use these structures, please. The, I wouldn't have said that, I wouldn't have done this, or you shouldn't have said that, you shouldn't have done this, right? I will give you 10 minutes for you to create it, 10 or 12 minutes, 10 or 12 minutos. Y después vamos a practicar. Then we are going to practice it. It hasn't has to be like that long. No tiene que ser tan larga. Okay? So, are you ready? Or do you have questions about this? Questions? Yes, I have one. Um, how we can say when someone is over here la tarjeta de... Debit, credit, no sé. A debit card or credit card. I knew that. Sobre girar, it's like overdrawn. Okay. Just let me confirm it here because I don't want to give you like a uh, false information. Okay. Overdraw, uh huh? Overdrawn the card. I overdrawn my card. Uh huh. Mm, how do you I write over, it down? Overdrew. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can write it here. So the verb is overdraw, como dibujar, overdraw. So I overdrew is the past, right? Overdrew my card. I overdrew my card. Sobre giré mi tarjeta. Y el past participle of overdrew is overdrawn, right? Overdrawn. So this is the verb overdraw. Are okay, you able to see? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So I will uh, check you. I, I will check what you're doing. Voy a ver qué están haciendo. Si tienen preguntas con alguna palabra o si está bien esto, me lo pueden decir, verdad? You, you can ask me. So I will do the the two groups right now. Just allow me one moment. Sure. Yes, sure. Felix. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I got the idea, but I would like to pass in this role play because I have no idea what make it up. Um, in this situation <laughs> like you don't have idea what what to make up like yeah it's very difficult make it up something about a uh, personal problem i don't know so yeah. i would like to pass i don't know if, if uh, it's a problem <laughs> yeah but why would you like to pass because it's an unreal situation right like for example I had a problem, I don't know what to do. Like for example, my money, I don't have money or I don't find a job or I don't. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, I understand, I understand that, but uh -huh. uh, always it's difficult. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but why? You don't have to, you're speaking in English, right? So you just need to create a, a little conversation and that's it, practice it. Um, I will try it. <laughs> yes, you, you just you can try, but you don't have to say like very, oh, we are going to say this and that and that. And no, just simple, right? Just try to at least once or twice, try to use the structures that we we're studying, but at least try right that. And as I already told you, I will check what you're doing and you can ask me, right? So I will create the groups right now. Vayamos a crear los grupos. Solo voy a crear dos. Y... Okay, by start Felix, Rafael, and Tania. And no, Tania, creo que la voy a mover con Ana, porque Ana, she's kind of sick. Sick. 
So it will be Felix and Raphael and Ana, Olga, and Tania, okay? So if si tienen alguna pregunta, me dicen. 10 minutes, please. Ya Hello. Hello. Aquí estamos inventando. Pero... Ok, perfect. ¿Quién va a hacer el A y quién va a hacer el B? Les envié las instrucciones al WhatsApp. Ah, no, 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 no había visto. Quiero ver. I'm going to check the WhatsApp. Ok. So, first of all, is to decide who will be no, a letter A and who will play letter B, right? And then you can start the conversation. Felix. Yes, um, I'm here. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't I don't have money. I don't have any money to pay a school of my son. I don't know what to do it. You should have um you you uh, you should have to uh, oh. asaltar un banco. No puede ser, pero es en inglés. Eh, <laughs> counting, eh, vender, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se vender? ¿Cómo sería? Sal, sell. Sal, sal. Sell. So, you should have to sell something. I don't know, maybe if you if you have a uh, old television in your house or I don't know, maybe your your cell phone or your computer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. And remember that the situation has to be something that you have done already, right? For example, Rafael, he said that he doesn't have money, right? But why you don't have money? Probably you quit your job, right? It was a really good job you were getting money and probably you were really stressful. Estaba muy estresado y usted dijo, I quit. Then, and uh, now you don't have money, right? Because you cannot pay the school of your children. You cannot pay anything. You had a very good job, but it was really stressful and you quit. So what should I do? You can ask Felix, right? And Felix can tell you, ah, you shouldn't have quit your job. If I were you, right? If I were you, you should have... Uh, you can buy and you can start saying things you can, I don't know, 
uh, create your own business or you can start selling things. I don't know, different solutions. And then you can choose one of those solutions, right? Okay. Okay, very good. So you can start creating the conversation. Uh, how do you say reprobar un examen? A fail a test. A fail? A fail. F-A-I-L-E-D. Fail. Como fallar, ¿verdad? Fail. A fail. A test. Eh, Rafael. I'm studying marketing, uh, but um, the Monday I I had no I did a uh, exam, but I failed the exam. No, 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 así. Fail. <laughs> no, ya, ya, ya me, ya me enchivo la. No, que, que se supone que tenemos que seguir una secuencia de la conversación que iniciamos. <laughs> sí. Ah, oh, ya me confundí. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have rolling with the audio. Ah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> si este, escojan una situación primero, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál va a ser el main problem? Rafael not having money porque renunció a su trabajo or Felix because he has problems. Probably uh, Felix, you are a student and Rafael is a teacher, right? And you can say, oh, teacher, I failed my test. What can I do? And then Rafael can tell you, oh, you should have studied more. You should have paid attention in the class, okay? Pero elijan una situación y empiezan a hacer la conversación. Bye. Uh -huh. Está bien. Ok. I will come back in a few minutes. Ok. Este caso sería um, close and like I could have a slept I think it is the past participle, right? Um, I could have a slept with the lights off. Mm -hmm. With the lights off. Okay, you're finishing the conversation. <laughs> A little bit. You're yes. giving some ideas. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, and close your eyes. O sea, light okay. off and close your eyes. As well, can be you should have asked for help in the job if you had many things to do. Mm -hmm. To finish early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Back to men. Yes, we can add another one, another suggestion. No. Um, oh, we we had uh um uh, 
And at the beginning, when we started like equation, right, that right now we wanted to give some advice to Anna because she has headache, but we was saying that in this case, we should provide like in the past, right? Like she had, we can put the history, like she had a headache, not in the present, right? For yes. the, mm -hmm. right, okay. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Okay, now we can practice um, like the entire I don't conversation. write uh, all the conversation, uh, but I, I, I tell, I remember. <laughs> okay. No, 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 Compartanme ah. en el chat, porfa. Yo no he notado nada. Estoy con ojos cerrados. Sí, sí, ya, ya la mandamos a dormir, Ana. ¿eh? <laughs> yeah. You must eat. You can mm. just listen, right? Yeah. It's going to yes. be better. Yes. Um, uh, I, Ana está hablando ahorita. Dice, I had a very long, long day in my job. And I have a headache. What should I have done? And you can have a learn what should I have done to avoid this headache. Mm -hmm. To avoid like evitar este dolor. Uh -huh. um, well, I could have uh, slept with the lights off mm -hmm. um, yesterday. Um, also, you should have asked for help in the job if you have many things to do to complete the job early and do not have a busy day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, you will have a, a finish uh, very early uh, in your work mm -hmm. and you, you sleep with the uh, okay. Okay, welcome back, Felix. Did you finish the conversation? Uh, no. No, you didn't finish it? No. <laughs> it was kind of difficult. <laughs> okay. I don't you. know. I don't know why we lost the ideas when you you when, I tell, tell, uh -huh. when you tell uh, so we have to do uh how do you say dialogue a conversation a conversation i don't know why it's so <laughs> so difficult yes it's the words of... forget it I yes don't know. I don't... Yes, but that's the reason I like this because you create your own conversation. But you didn't do the conversation, Rafael and Felix. You you weren't able to do it. No la terminaron. Yo creo que solo la comenzamos, pero igual. Okay, okay. We are going to check first Olga and Tanya. Y si quieren participar después ustedes, lo hacen. Si no, pues está bien. So we are going to check your conversation because they did finish the conversation. I was checking there. So Tanya and Olga, please uh, go ahead and participate with the conversation, please. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Anna uh, had a, a very long, long day and in her job. And her have a headache. Uh, and her ask, 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 uh, ask us what should I have done? Okay. Well, I could have uh, slept with the lights off to wake up like a new person. <laughs> and um, also you should have asked for help in the job if you have many things to do to finish early. Um, and also you should try to work with your uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. okay. And Olga? <laughs> oh, well, um, <laughs> um, I, I, I will have a, a she close the bedroom and the bedroom and close the curtain mm -hmm. and she uh, she go to the sleep uh, right now. <laughs> okay, go to sleep right now. Okay, very good. So should have she should have closed the curtains of yeah. the bedroom. Okay, yes. perfect. Perfect, Olga. Perfect, Tanya. Claps for you. And Felix and Rafael, unfortunately, they didn't finish the conversation, but keep on practicing, okay? Traten de practicarlo porque así van a, a crear sus propias, pues, el lenguaje que ustedes utilizan. Okay, so we are going to finish the class today and les voy a enviar la presentación para que ustedes sigan repasando y ahí hay más ejercicios, okay? So okay, it was you. nice to meet you and hopefully we will see you soon, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher, thank for you. everything. Nice to meet you, you too. Nice to meet you thank too. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Have for a nice all. evening. <laughs> yes, thank you, Olga. Thank you, Felix. Por la Have a great evening. evening. <laughs> okay. No problem, Olga. Thank you, Tania. Thank you, Rafael and Anna. Have a nice night. Thank you. You too. You too. Bye bye. Thank see you. Bye. You.